Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up Alright guys, what is going on? Welcome to another episode of Making Games and today uh, the video structure is going to be pretty simple. All I'm going to do is show you a few clips from a leg workout that I did about a week ago and give you guys a little bit of a voiceover in the background. So as you can see, the first exercise for today's leg workout was a barbell squat. Now, not every single leg workout will I start with a squat. I might start with leg extensions to pre-exhaust the quads before I go into a squat or, or I might start with a leg press but regardless of muscle group whether that be legs, back, chest or anything I think it's very important to start off your workout with a big compound lift where you can you know, use that strength that you've got in the bank. You're feeling as strong as you're going to feel the entire workout. Why not go straight into a heavy, you know, obviously warm up as much as you need to but that first exercise you should be pushing pretty fucking hard, pretty heavy and getting the most out of it. So today, for example, I did a set of 20 with one plate, I did a set of 10 with two plates, and then I went into my first working set, was, which was with 130 kgs. Uh, you saw me do, I think it was 10 reps there, and this is my second working set with 140 kgs, and I think I got seven reps. And then we go into my third working set with 140, and I think I get five reps here, and this is the point where I realized, nah, all right, I'm still feeling pretty depleted from my holiday from Thailand. This was only a few days after. And, you know, I decided to drop the weight back down to 130 and do my final working set with 130. And right here, you're about to see quite an embarrassing moment, I do believe. Something that's never happened to me before. <laughs> and that is dropping, <laughs> dropping the weight from a squat. Um, that's my own fault. I didn't have the catches there. But that was definitely the point that I realized, nah, I'm still feeling pretty depleted from a holiday. Um, I've just got to get some, some more volume in. So we dropped it down 10 kgs to 130 and ripped it out. And that was squats, guys. So what it was, it was two warm-up sets, four working sets, and then a double drop set to finish, which you're about to see. From there, we move over to a, uh, a walking lunge, and then we do a leg extension, and then we do some hamstring work at the end. Now, most leg workouts, I would like to, to hit four exercises. I think anything less than four exercises is, it's not enough for me, you know, I, I'm, I'm hitting four to five working sets on each exercise. If I do four, four exercises, five working sets each, plus all the warm-ups and drop sets and everything, I've got 20 hardcore working sets in the bank by the end of the workout, I'm happy with that. So here you're seeing uh, the drop set, I did the set with 130, we're now dropping it down to 100 and ripping it out for as much as I can then dropping it down to 60 and repping it out once again. Now these reps, these reps are fucking hard. They might look easy, but holy shit, my legs are burning right now. And it's these reps. Muhammad Ali famously said, I start counting the reps when it starts hurting. Those are the ones that really count. Okay, and that's pretty much what I do. Like, I don't have a particular rep range for these drop sets. It's just until I can't fucking handle it anymore. Um, but obviously, a major key is keeping the form keeping the form fucking on point the whole entire way, all right? And when it's heavy, I have to sort of bring my, bring my hands in nice and close, but when it's a bit lighter, probably two plates are under, I put my hands way out to the side, as you guys will see. And that just allows me to really squat down. Being a taller guy, um, having my hands way out by the plates there, just really, really, as, as you squat down, it's just a really nice feeling movement, to be honest. Like, if your hands are too close in, I feel like... You, you might feel like you're going to fall forward a little bit. Um, this, this, this kind of form is, is my favorite with the hands out wide. Just a little bit of a tip for you guys. So uh, after this, we go to a walking lunge. Now, walking lunges, I prefer to put a barbell on my back, like you're, like you're seeing right here, and do my walking lunges that way. Unfortunately, there's not enough room in this gym to do that. Um, there's not enough room in most gyms to do that. So I have decided to use dumbbells for this particular workout and we're using 20 kg dumbbells. So, you know, effectively that's like a 40 kg barbell on your back. So what I like to do with my dumbbell lunges is go really nice and slow. As you're seeing, you know, how many, how many seconds is that? That's one, two, three. One, two, three. So it's probably three seconds per rep. One set is going all the way down. I don't know how many reps that is. It's probably 20, 30 reps 
have a rest, come back and do that four times and that is the walking lunges. So that's, so that's four working sets on the dumbbell walking lunge with 20 kg dumbbells and obviously that's after the previous work with the squats. So I can tell you right now that halfway through the workout, two exercises in, I was absolutely fucked and that's what you want guys, honestly. That is what you want. So the walking lunge, I, I'll either do you know second after my first compound movement like you're seeing right now or I'll do it last as a, as a finisher. I really enjoy it as a finishing exercise because you know, you've, you've basically, you've smashed yourself. All you've got left is these walking lunges. I mean, you could probably do them body weight because you're so, you know, you're so wrecked by that point. But um, in my opinion, guys, they're, they're probably one of my favorite leg exercises. Once I sort of worked out how to do them properly, I used to, my, the steps I used to take were, were quite short. Now I take big, long, Big long steps and really feel it on my quad as I move as I'm like bending down into that movement I really feel it on the quad the whole way down and then I explode up using my glute my hamstring and everything else and I'll tell you what nothing hits my glutes like the walking lunge nothing and like I don't do any direct glute work I'm not I don't train like a, like a girl I don't do any fucking kickbacks or nothing but I tell you what walking lunges great for the glutes from there you know, we've done two exercises that have worked the entire leg. We've done squats, we've done walking lunges. We now want to do a little bit of isolation work. I went over to the leg extension, did some isolation work on the quads. Now I, I mean that's, yeah, that's a hard set for me. 15 to 20 reps, four sets, 15 to 20 reps, failing on the last rep. You can't go wrong with that. You've got a nice, nice little quad pump there. From there, I went over to the hamstring curl. Hamstrings is something I'm pretty slack on guys, I'm not going to lie. Um, I, I don't particularly enjoy training hamstrings, you know, glutes have always been a strong point for me, hamstrings they're pretty, pretty flat, so if anything I do need to focus on hamstrings, I need to prioritize the hamstrings a little bit more, but uh, this is just a, a nice laying hamstring curl, it's quite, it's quite, it suits my body, you know, I do like it, we've got three plates on here right now. After this, I went and did a drop set. We've got four working sets with three plates. Following this set, I chucked off one plate, did another set, of, did another drop set of like 10 reps, and then chucked off another plate and did another, another set of 10 reps. And that was pretty much it. So that was the workout, guys. Squats, two warm-up sets, five working sets, including a drop set to finish. We've got walking lunges, four working sets to failure. We've got a leg extension, four working sets, 15 to 20 reps. And we've got a hamstring curl, which you're seeing now, which was four working sets with 60 kgs on there with a triple drop set to finish. And that was leg day, baby. All done and dusted. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. This is just a normal leg day for me, mate. Honestly, nothing special. Try it out for yourself. See you guys. <laughs>